University of Virginia is coming under fire for its new rules on demonstrations and access to shared spaces. It's one of multiple colleges across Virginia that is reestablishing how First Amendment rights can be exercised. Maggie Glass shares the legal side of the new policy and why some professors are calling it into question. Maggie. Aaron, legal experts say UVA is within its right to make these limitations. But critics argue the university is targeting student protesters, specifically the ones involved with the pro-Palestinian protest on grounds last May. Disbelief? That's how Eric Lindstrom, a professor of history at UVA, says he initially reacted to the rules. A peaceful student demonstration involving tents is somehow more of a safety threat than having police officers point guns at students and pepper spray them, which I find very hard to believe. The policy says sleeping outdoors or in a tent is prohibited and that tents up on grounds must have permits. It also requires anyone wearing a mask or face covering on grounds to have and show ID when asked. If people running around with masks, whatever their motivations may be, the university still feels that it needs to protect people on its campus. Alan Sanders is an attorney and professor at St. Peter's University. He says UVA is allowed to make these decisions with the best interest of the whole community in mind. Under uh, longstanding Supreme Court precedents, uh, reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions are perfectly fine when it, uh, an issue of the First Amendment arises. Lindstrom agrees the university needs to keep order on grounds, but not overreach just because they are uncomfortable. There's no way anyone can say with a straight face that that demonstration was disrupting students going to class or going about their business. Lindstrom is not alone. In a statement sent to 29 News, the American Association of University Professors at UVA wrote in part, these policies, which go beyond reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions, impose severe limits on speech and assembly that discourage or shut down freedom of expression. Both Virginia Commonwealth University and Virginia Tech have adopted similar policies. Live in the newsroom, Maggie Glass, 29 News at 5.